Eov, Job 11. Then answered so far the Naamati and said, Should not the multitude of words be answered, and should a man full of talk be justified? Should your lies make men hold their peace? And when you mock, shall no man make you ashamed? For you have said, My doctrine is pure, and I am clean in your eyes. But, oh, that Eloah would speak, and open his lips against you, and that he would show you the secrets of wisdom, that they are double to that which is. Know, therefore, that Eloah exacts of you less than your iniquity deserves. Can you, by searching, find out Eloah? Can you find out El Shaddai unto perfection? It is as high as heaven. What can you do? Deeper than Sheol, what can you know? The measure thereof is longer than the earth and broader than the sea. If he cut off and shut up or gather together, then who can hinder him? For he knows vain men. He sees wickedness also. Will he not then consider it? For vain man would be wise, though man be born like a wild ass's colt. If you prepare your heart and stretch out your hands toward him, if iniquity be in your hand, put it far away, and let not wickedness dwell in your tabernacles. For then shall you lift up your face without spot. Yea, you shall be steadfast and shall not hear, because you shall forget your misery and remember it as waters that pass away. And your age shall be clearer than the noonday. You shall shine forth. You shall be as the morning, and you shall be secure, because there is hope. Yea, you shall dig about you, and you shall take your rest in safety. Also, you shall lie down, and none shall make you afraid. Yea, many shall make suit unto you, but the eyes of the wicked shall fail, and they shall not escape, and their hope shall be as the giving up of the Ruach.